listen only mode. Hello and welcome everyone to today's webinar on um, studying in Germany's capital in Berlin and uh, pursuing an MBA and Master's in the School of Economics and Law. Today we have with us today uh, Marianne Torno. She is uh, the representative of the Berlin School of Economics and Law and my name is Hanni Geist. I'm the DAD uh, representative in the San Francisco office and for today's agenda we have um, just a little bit of information about DAD, what is DAD, and the scholarships and grants that are available through DAD is specifically uh, a grant uh, that you can use uh, to pursue a master's in Germany. And then uh, we um, jump right into the main part of our presentation, which is uh, today talk about the MBA and master's programs at the Berlin School of Economics and Law. And then at the very end of the presentation, we will have um, plenty of time to uh, get your questions uh, questions answered and um for that, um, you can get in touch with, that, with us. If you're not familiar with the GoToWebinar tool, um, I will um, show you uh, here in the next slide. But uh, before I do that, I just wanted to uh, mention that I do record uh, the webinar at the moment. And so I will uh, send you a follow-up email after the webinar uh, where you can uh, view the webinar um, as a recording and where you can also download this presentation and also uh, the presentation of our guest uh, presenter today. And of course, uh, you are uh, more than welcome, and we would like to encourage you to get in touch with us later on should you have any questions uh, about DAD um, or the MBA that is presented today. And how do you get in touch with us? If you are familiar with the webinar tool, um, you can... Uh, be use the question function here. It looks a little bit different on your screen since you don't have the um, organizer uh, panel, but it's basically, um, it's some somewhere here is, is the question um, panel where you can um, type in your questions. And I would encourage you to actually do that right as they come up. And some of the questions I may um, answer right away, uh, but if there are general questions, I will um, ask them uh, later so that I'm um, also uh, the, those viewers who will uh, tune in later on and just uh, view the recording also get a chance uh, to get uh, the questions answered. And with that, I would like to uh, jump in right to the um, content about DAD. Um, again, just briefly, uh, DAD is, uh, the simply put, it's the higher education arm of the German government. Uh, DAD represents higher education abroad, and we are an independent association of German universities. And with that, we really um, uh, provide information on studying and doing research in Germany in general. Uh, we provide information on how to find programs and how to apply, just really the general information on uh, studying in Germany. And then, of course, we provide information on scholarships and grants that are available through DAD. Um, but also, we can guide you um, to other um, websites where you can find uh, other information on funding opportunities. And the funding opportunities that are offered through DAD um, are um, really, there's a variety of, of scholarships and grants that we offer. Um, generally speaking, we do fund study abroad, uh, we fund senior thesis research, um, other types of research. We also fund internships and um, you will, uh, usually you will get a monthly stipend. If it's a shorter stay, it's, it will be a lump sum. Um, you will also receive health insurance and um, for certain grants also travel reimbursements and for um, some of the grants that we offer there is also an all grantees meeting. Um, important to note is that this is really open to students in all fields and uh, this is a um, scholarship or these are scholarships and grants that are available where German is not necessarily required. So really um, the knowledge of German is dependent on the degree program. If the program is offered in English and those are the programs that you will hear about today, um, you don't have to know German um, to apply for the grant. Of course, it is always an advantage um, to know some German, especially in your everyday life. Um, but in particular, and we will hear about um, a study opportunity in Berlin today, in particular in Berlin, and, and our presenter will probably also um, mention that, you really don't necessarily have to know German, in particular at the university, but also in the city, because a lot of the people that you will meet there also know English quite well. 
And so with that, I would like to actually specifically talk about one scholarship um, that is available to you if you uh, would like to pursue a master's or MBA in Germany, and that is the study scholarship for graduates. Um, you um, can apply to this grant if you are a senior and you would like to um, continue with the master's or MBA right after you receive your bachelor's degree, um, but you can apply to this grant even up to six years after graduation. And so you can take a gap year or even two years to work or do um, other things. Um, the deadline is always uh, at the beginning of November. For this year, it's November 4th, so it's coming up very soon. But for that also, and uh, you will hear uh, that in the presentation uh, for the degree programs, the deadline to apply is usually not until um, May or sometimes even um, July. Uh, so for the grant that you apply here, you would only have to know where you want to apply and you would have to, um, in your study proposal that is part of the application procedure, you would have to say why you want to study at this particular university and why you chose this program. Program. So, but at this point, at the point of the application, you don't need to know yet that you um, are enrolled or that you got accepted into a program. Um, there are 60 awards um, awarded annually, and for the award, you will receive 750 euros a month. If you are uh, currently living in a state like, for example, like I am in California, where it's quite expensive and uh, 750 euros, which equals to about $850. In a lot of places, you won't even find an apartment for that. And just to keep in mind that really living expenses in Germany are, um, you would need a lot uh, fewer, um, you would need a lot less um, because the living expenses are a lot lower than what they are in most American cities. A lot of the students um, don't have more than 750 euros and especially if you consider that you also receive health insurance. So this is really a quite substantial amount that would um, actually uh, cover most of your living expenses when you are in Germany. And um, just to um, add um, a little bit more information on what is required. So you would need to have your transcripts, um, you would need a study proposal and one recommendation letter and that's um, the core uh, of the application. You find more about this grant um, on our website at dad.org. Uh, grad study and you will find a detailed checklist on uh, what you have to submit and also by when. Uh, the online application is due November 4th um, but um, the for the application to send to the New York office, the postmark date uh, will also be accepted. So you still have a little bit of time if you decide that you want to apply for the next year um, to pursue a master's or MBA. And finally, um, Please um, join us on our uh, DAD North America account on Facebook and Twitter for more information on upcoming deadlines, other webinars, uh, workshops that we offer, and um, other opportunities related to studying and research in Germany. And with that, I would like to hand over the microphone to our um, guest panelist, um, Mariana Tonov, who will talk to you about uh, pursuing a master's in MBA at the Berlin School of Economics and Law. Thank you very much, honey. So, I just wait a second. So now everybody should see my yes, screen. Yes, we do see your screen. Great. Okay, so something happened. So we are on the last slide now. That's not good. Okay, <laughs> there we are. So, um, as you already know, my name is Marianne Tono and I'm the project coordinator for the um, international marketing at our university. And today I like to thank you first of all for participation and also want to warmly welcome you to the webinar about studying in Germany. Germany's capital and um, MBA and master programs at the Berlin School of Economics and Law will be introduced today um, to you. Um, as we said already, whenever you have questions, um, please type them into the chat and we will be happy to answer them at the end of the webinar. Today um, I'm going to address six topics um, which might be interesting for you. First of all, the city of Berlin, 
what you can expect from Berlin and Germany. I give you a brief overview about the university as well as the institute I'm working for. Um, facts and figures um, followed by the main part, the three international master programs I like to introduce you to. And um, at the end um, you get more information about how to become a student at our university. Um, what are the tuition fees, um, how about the living conditions and so on. So there is a small problem I see. Just a second, please. So here we go again. So about the location. Um, as you can see, we are located in Germany. Germany is um, in the heart of Europe and uh, Berlin is in the northeast of uh, Germany. So um, one of the big cities in Germany. And what should you know about the city and why you should come and visit us? Um, Berlin is one of Europe's most vibrant capitals. Um, we have a unique history and living democracy. Um, facts about art and fashion, culture, we have big events and more than 170 museums, so um, next to your studies and the theoretical part of your uh, visit, we have a lot to offer for everybody, I would say. Um, also, Berlin has a big international community. That means not only exchange students or students are coming to the city, also people who are working full and part-time who want to um, start their um, business. We have a big uh, startup scene in Berlin. Um, I'm more than welcome and um, I think the city is um, a good place to also study and um, follow with uh, work experience. Um, as uh, Honey has mentioned before, the living expensive and uh, are different to other um, university cities. So at the moment, I would say, in comparison to other German cities and uh, cities in Europe, we have low living expenses and affordable prices for accommodation. It is going to change, um, but still, um, it's affordable in comparison to London or um, yeah, any city around. So let me tell you more about the Berlin School of Economics and Law before I go into the Further Education Institute um, I'm working for. So the Berlin School of Economics and Law is specialized in training future managers for the public as well as the private sectors. We are the third largest institution in Germany for the qualification of students in business administration and economics. Also, we have or we offer applied research in economics and business as well as social and legal sciences. Um, we have close, very close corporations with hundreds of companies within Berlin, but also within Germany and Europe. Um, that is part of our study visits if we are going to partner universities um, to other countries worldwide, um, we try to include corporate visitors um, for our students as well. But I will go more into detail later on. Um, also, we have a high level of internationalization and not only the students who are coming to the university, also we keep an eye on our faculty members and staff members that they have the chance to um, exchange, to um, meet other university members and to yeah, get more experience um, worldwide. We are at the moment the market leader for academic programs in continued education um, and we have a broad range of different programs delivery formats which makes it very interesting I would say. So you can, on the one hand you have the chance to be a full student like studying full-time but also we have a lot of part-time programs, we have e-learning programs and we try to mix them within one program that students um, have the chance to yeah, think out of the box, see more um, next to their, their, their chosen program. 
Um, very important, I would say, is also that we are a member of the UA7. This is a strategic alliance of setting, uh, seven leading German universities of applied sciences, and that underlines that we are focusing on um, yeah, training on the job next to the studies, um, having like real business cases with corporations and so on. So this is like a, a big, big thing um, within all the programs we offer. You can see some figures. Um, nearly 10,000 students are studying at our university at two campuses. One campus is in the east of Berlin, in Lichtenberg. The other one is in the west part, in Schöneberg. If you are going to apply for one of our programs, you are probably located in the western part, in Schöneberg. Um, each year we have around 2,300 graduates, um, 1,000 1, uh, people are working uh, in the uh, teaching field, so that means 200 professors and around 800 part-time lecturers. Um, as I mentioned before, the um, staff members, the administrative staff, is very important for a university without them. Um, nothing would work <laughs> very well, so um, we try to keep this number as high as possible to um, yeah to create new programs and to um, do good service on our students. Um, also, we have five departments and three uh, central institutes. One of these central institutes I want to tell you more about it now. So, um, one of the central institute is the Berlin Professional School in German, the Institute für Weiterbildung Berlin, which means it's a further education, continued education. Um, with this institute we, are, uh, institute, we are a pioneer of the German master's education because we do have MBA education since 92, which is like a long time next to universities in Great Britain, of course, um, and we commit, we are committed to, to lifelong learning. All our study programs at the Berlin Professional School are accredited and internationally accredited, which is really important for you if you want to go further for PhD, etc. The Berlin MBA program has an internationally recognized MBA accreditation, with, which is the association of MBAs, and um, only like a handful of universities have this accreditation. Um, with all our courses, um, at the moment we offer eight different master programs. We focus on general management, developing international leadership, um, competencies and, of course, managerial qualifications. Um, for each study year, we have about 300 up to 400 new students. It depends how how much um, how many students are applying, but um, yeah, I think 300 is, is a good average for only for the institute, not for the whole um, school of economics and law. Um, just to give you a brief overview about our international corporations um, and university partners, this also is only for the institute. So we work together closely with the Baruch College in New York, the Wichita State University and the San Diego State University. So these are schools where we do have exchange programs with or we uh, go on a study visit to, to meet um, program students over there. And they are also visiting us each year. Um, for Europe, we work together with Kingston University, with the University of uh, Hertfordshire, as well as the Financial Institute um, in uh, Poland. Also, we have two universities uh, working with us in India and Namibia, which will be the first time this year. And a really long partner of ours is the Hong Kong Baptist University. So now I'm moving on with the introduction of the three international master programs. 
The first one is the Master of Science in International Business Management, followed by the Berlin full-time MBA program and last but not least I'd like to tell you more about the Master in Chinese European Economics and Business Studies which is a dual degree program and very interesting for people who are focusing on the Asian part. But let me start with the Masters of Science in International Business Management. As you can see on the slide, it's an accredited program. It's accredited by the FIBA, which is the Foundation of International Business Association and Administration Association. And this course is led by two academic directors. The one is um, Professor Dr. Vittoria von Gizitsky. She is uh, responsible for the part of international management. And the other um, side is uh, the Academic Director for International Tourism Management. Uh, this is Professor Dr. Jörg Zola. Um, no program can be managed without our coordination team, the manager and coordinator. Here you can see Miriam Klesen and Anne Bohansky. They are very important when it comes to um, the question of application, how to uh, live in Germany, how to finance your studies, finding accommodation, schedule. If you have problems uh, within, I don't know, within your group and stuff, so they are always your contact person um, for this program. So what is the master program about? The MSc is uh, the Master of Science. It's the only Master of Science we offer at our institute. The other programs are Master of Arts and it's internationally recognized, a postgraduate degree. Um, special about our programs uh, is that they are not only two years. We have this time a 15 months full-time program which is fully taught in English so you don't need any German skills but um, we always encourage the students to learn at least a bit because then the daily life will be easier. We are an international city but still to pick up some German is uh, always nice and helpful for you. The program um, starts each year in September and as the name all already says is an international management focus. You have the option also to specialize in international tourism management. You have, we have to have a group of minimum eight people who are going to um, specialize in this field that we can open the course. Including um, well, the program always also includes a one-week study with, to the Kingston University. That means that um, you are going, um, I think it is February, March, you are going for one week to London, um, meeting students of the same program, meeting people from corporations, uh, having cultural exchange, etc. And these people are coming over in November to do the same in Berlin. Um, if you are going to plan to have an exchange semester, so not only studying in Berlin, also going to another university in Europe or worldwide, you can apply for one of our partner universities, which will be the Kingston University, the uh, Polytechnic of uh, Namibia, or one of the um, one of the universities in India. So this uh, is a good possibility for people who want to um, split their visit and say, okay, I, I, I'd like to stay for the first semester in Berlin and then I, I will see more of the world. <laughs> so we will uh, help you with that, of course. Um, also, the program has a big cooperation network, as the whole institute has a big cooperation network. And um, yeah, this is always the chance for you to um, step into internships, as well as uh, maybe writing your uh, master thesis with um, organizations in Berlin, also with international companies. Um, names are like we are very connected with the automotive industry in Germany, so BMW, uh, Volkswagen, then you have the chance to meet middle size and small size companies because this is a big field in Germany as well. Um, but also we have a context to the big four consulting companies uh, because they always have offices in, in our city and you will meet people from Deutsche Bahn and Bombardier. So um, 
and electricity. So um, there's a there's a broad range, I would say. Um, this is good for you to see how the timeline looks like. So the program will start in September and the first semester is going from September to December. Um, then there's a small break, so uh, please keep in mind that we don't offer a big Christmas break. It's just like 10 days, something like this, um, depending on the on the year and then directly at the beginning of January you start with the second semester until May before you are going to register for the master's thesis. Within the second semester you have the study visits to Kingston University as well as an exchange semester if you apply for that. Um, from June until October you are going to write your master's thesis and in November you will defend that so that the third semester is um, only reserved for the company project or master's thesis, whatever you decide to do. Um, and you don't have to be in Berlin because there are no courses anymore but and, and you can do your oral defense via Skype so if you are not in, in Germany anymore but yeah we always um, invite you for the graduation ceremony in November so it's nice to be part of the official official ceremony at the end in the main hall of Berlin which is a nice nice ending I think Um, yeah, here you have an overview about the core modules, the specialization modules, electives and um, the master thesis. All in all, uh, the master consists of uh, 90 credits. So uh, together with your application, at the end you will have 300 credits all in all because you have to apply with at least 210 credits to our university. Um, international business environment and international business strategy are one of the main topics um, within your core modules. Also, we you will have um, courses on finance and accounting. There you have average courses and uh, advanced courses. Marketing and media marketing will be a big field. Operation and information management as well as managing people and organizations. Um, and uh, big focus will be personal development because um, people are coming to, to do their masters uh, for career change or to find a new career path so that's, that's why personal development modules are important and you can choose out of different and uh, also choose career development courses. But it depends on the year, so um, I can't tell you now which courses there will be, but there's a, there's a good choice, I would say. Um, then in the second semester, you are going to specialize either for international management or for international tourism management. And also we offer some electives. Um, they are um, from entrepreneurship to um, gender and globalization, consulting and project management. So there you have different options and you have to choose two out of four, um, followed by the master's thesis and the oral defense in the third semester. So, yeah, the tuition fee. The tuition fee of the course is 12,900. So, this covers the attendance at all courses and seminars for the 15 months program, teaching material, the welcome service. Um, welcome service means that uh, people are going to pick you up from the airport, they help you finding accommodation with the visa process. They, um, yeah going to introduce uh, the German health insurance as well as um, the bank account, how to open the bank account, what do you need and so on. So the welcome service is very um, individual. Some people might need that, some people are very common and uh, know about these facts already. Um, also the career service and all the events and accommodation during the study visit is included in the tuition fee so you don't have to pay any extra for the um, for the events and stuff so stuff like that um, um, we always say um, I mean depending on your lifestyle but please calculate 800 to 900 euro per month living expensive in Berlin 
plus health insurance. Health insurance, depending on how old you are, but it's around 80 months. And um, that should cover your accommodation, your, your, your living expenses next to the accommodation and health insurance. So, um, this is the next program I'd like to introduce you to, that's the Berlin uh, MBA full-time program. Um, this is led by two academic directors as well. On the one hand, we have Professor Eva Ostaszewska, she is responsible for the European Management MBA. And uh, Professor Joachim scholz ligma he is responsible for the transatlantic management as well as the European Asian management. Um, so we have three different specializations within the MBA program full-time in Berlin. Um, also, you can see Dr. Marina Junkes, she is our, the, yeah, your contact person in the field of career and alumni service. So even if you are not sure about application, uh, you want to know more about career options in Germany, how long you can stay after graduation and stuff. So she can um, give you more details on that. She can also, um, yeah, make a profile of your um, career and give you some hints um, how the path could could move on and yeah this is always a good good possibility for you um, even before you apply just to know um, what are your chances if you want to stay in Europe um, the program team, the coordination team, is the same as for the other programs. So the, Miriam and Anne will be there and help you out with all administrative parts and help you with the application. So what should you bring or what should you have for um, studying the MBA full-time at our uh, institute? So you should have at least three years of work experience you should bring a university degree uh, with a minimum of 180 credits and as I said before you need 210 because of your work experience you will have uh, 210 for Germany then so this uh, combination of 180 credits and three years of work experience fits the perfectly for the application you should have very good knowledge of English and yeah the most important thing I would say is uh, be ambitious for career progression and um, you we offer for you a 15 months full-time program in English which starts in September um, a strong career development service and alumni network we um, offer study visit to Asia to the Hong Kong Baptist University to the US and uh, UK and Europe and yeah the program has a strong focus on leadership. That's uh, what we um, want to build out of our students after the pro program. So here you can see the three options you can choose for. So the core modules are the same for all students, but then you go in your specializations um, in European management, European Asian management, or transatlantic management. The timeline looks like this. So next year we will start on the 12th of September. Um, the first semester ends in December with a short break. The second semester starts in January until June. Um, in January, if you choose the part of uh, European Asian management, you will have the study visit to Hong Kong for one week, um, which you can um, which you can um, take part in. Then um, if you're going to choose the transatlantic uh, management course, you are going to um, study in in San Diego for one week or Wichita, that depends on our partner. And um, for the European side of management, uh, we have the study visit in May and June where we go to Poland or Belgium. So the registration for the third 
part of, of your studies of the 15 months is um, in June, so there you're going to register for the master thesis. The master thesis is a company project for the MBA, so you can't choose. You should, of course, um, write your thesis with the company, so that's why we will meet companies beforehand and you get in contact with our career person. In mid-October you hand in the master thesis followed by the defense in mid-November before the graduation will follow at the end of November. I think we talked about it. The core modules are quite the same as um, I showed you for the other master course, but then you have also leadership personality skills, not only personality skills, so um, there will be a strong focus on your career uh, progression. Then uh, you have the pathway specific modules depending on the pathway you choose and you have the master thesis as a company project. Here you can see some of the company advisory board of the course. I mentioned them before and they are quite, quite a few more I would say but this is just a selection of um, companies um, students wrote their master thesis last year with. Yeah, this is very important, I would say. So the MBA full-time as well as all the other master courses at the university are truly international. So here you can see out of 30 students we have each year for the program, we have quite like I think 16 to 20 different nationalities. So you will not only learn from the professors and the faculty staff, you will also learn from um, people from all over the world because you will have a lot of work groups with people from other countries. So you can start with a program, you can start to build up your international network. And this is uh, one of the main, main things um, you should definitely um, use and yeah, build your network starting with studying this program. Here are some impressions of our study visits um, from yeah, Hong Kong, Poland, San Diego, also Frankfurt when we uh, visit the VW company factory. Yeah, and yeah, before I start with the third and the last master I want to introduce to you too, um, I'd like to tell you more about the um, sectors people are going to when it comes to career opportunities after the program. And uh, I think interesting is also for you if you are planning on staying in Europe or Berlin, um, after your graduation, um, the German law says that you have 18 months to find a job and to, to stay in uh, Germany and after 18 months and you haven't found anything then you have to leave but before that you get a like past degree, visa, whatever. So um, everybody who has successfully um, Graduated um, has one and a half years to find a job in Berlin or Europe. So, um, and the sectors, most of our students went to the last two years um, is the first sector, the big one is finance, followed by project management and consulting. So these both, we had over 50% of students who are working there at the moment. Um, then uh, marketing is on the third place and cooperated planning and strategic development on the fourth. So um, yeah, the finance sector is the leading one. Okay, so um, yeah, let me tell you more about the Master of Arts in Chinese European Economics and Business Studies. It's led by the academic director Jennifer Pedusel Wu and the program coordination is done by Romana Zambo. So they are doing this course since uh, a lot of years, they are very experienced and um, Whenever you have questions about the culture exchange as well, they they are more 
experience than any one of us. <laughs> so you can directly contact them. Um, so about the program, it's a dual degree master of arts um, by our school, by the Berlin Professional School and the uh, Southwestern University of Finance and Economics called SWUVE. Uh, it's a two years full-time program, so that's a difference to the other both, uh, the other two programs. It's two years instead of 15 months. And it's taught, uh, fully taught in English as well, and we start this program in October each year. The focus is um, directly on finance, marketing, international economics and cultural skills. And you have to do a semester in Chengdu, China at the SUVA because otherwise you are not um, getting the dual degree master. So the school is very famous. It's one of Chinese Ministry of Education's 72 key universities. It's rated third out of 40 universities for finance and economics in China. So one of the best schools there. And um, they have around 23 students who are uh, enrolled in bachelor, master or PhD programs. So it's one of our most famous partners, I would say, for dual degrees. The modules look like this. So you have international business environment, so the international economics focus. The finance and accounting is very, um, yeah, it's a big part of the program. So financial analysis and corporate finance. Also marketing, which is specialized on China and Europe. So to, to manage both sides. Um, operations and information management. So the global governance um, course will be held there. The management, managing people and organizations. There you have the course human resource management in Europe and China. So you see we always combine Europe and China, both sides. International business strategy. Um, it's a strategic management course in China and Europe, as well as intercultural study and language courses you will have during the two years. So there you have team building in, in German and Chinese classes. It depends on your knowledge, what you have, and then we put you into different groups on different levels, and yeah, there will be a test before you get selected. So what are the career prospects for this study program? Um, so you can ex expect personal development modules. You can also expect from the program a highly international student body with a focus on Asia. Um, teaching staff with excellent connections to companies and also to the countries you are studying in and the possibility to gain a double degree and write the thesis as a company project and this is very special because um, there are not that many um, double degree options with a huge Chinese university. So students who are going to to um, study at our university, acquire expertise and skills, um, to work later on in companies or organizations with an international environment and to take on a management or executive position. Okay, so um, now we are done with the three different courses I wanted to tell you more about and this um, this next slides are for all the courses and this is interested is interesting when you are interested in applying for one of our programs so how to become a student at student at our university um, you need to have a completed undergraduate degree you need to have a minimum of one or of three years of relevant work experience. That means for the Master of Science in International Business Management as well as for the last Master in Chinese European Economics, you need to have at least one year of work experience. For all the MBA courses we offer with the specializations, you have to have three years of relevant 
work experience. And also you need to have very good English skills because the courses are held in English. So to apply for the programs, um, I'd like to, um, yeah, you should uh, also uh, always use the online application tool so we don't accept any scan or email application anymore. So when you go to our website, you will see the tool and then you can upload all your or, um, details as well as your copies. Um, you should include uh, the letter of motivation, which is really important for the academic directors, um, a CV, a copy of passport as well as a photo. Then you need a certified a copy of your university degree and, and uh, depending if you have that, but I think um, you should get the, something like this from your high school, the certification of eligibility for the university education, which you get before you go to university. Um, then we, we need um, also the employment testimonials, so not only the number and uh, email address, so because in Germany we, we have something like that um, your employer yeah, we'll write you a reference uh, on how your your work was done. So this is important for us as well. And um, as you probably all are native speaker, you don't need a certificate of English because you're native speaker. Um, the deadlines are different. We start the online application tool in January. So from the 1st of January, you can apply. And we try to uh, manage the the, the whole process by eight to ten weeks. It depends if you have uploaded everything we need. Um, so please check our website MBA minus Berlin and you will find all deadlines for the programs and if there are special things needed you will see that as well. Important might be uh, the tuition fees and living expenses. The MBA course the second one I introduced was, uh, is payable in three installment and the whole course for 15 months costs 17,800 uh, 17, euro. For the MSc you have to pay 12,900. It's also payable in three installments and the last course is payable in four installments and the course costs 9,800 euro. Um, about the Living expenses, I told you before, so we calculate for students eight to nine hundred uh, euro living expenses and plus the monthly health insurance. And uh, when it comes to the tuition fee, it includes all the courses, the teaching materials, guest lectures, excursions, events and welcome service, as well as the exam and final exam fees, matriculation and yeah, welcome service and so on. So you don't have to pay anything extra when it comes to the course. Yeah, that's all from my side for the moment. Thank you very much for your intention. And yeah, please visit us on Facebook, YouTube, LinkedIn or Sing. Um, yeah, now I'm happy to answer your questions if you have any and uh, like to show you our contact details. Depending on the program you are interested in, you can directly um, contact Anne or Romana for the MBA and MSc. Please contact Anne. There are two email address where you get information from her and, and she can also pre-check your, um, your application and tell you how, how your chances are and what we need and what you have to hand in. And for the MA Chinese European Economics and Business Studies, please contact Romana. She will also give you more details on the course, tell you about the deadlines and the interviews uh, everything you need. Just contact them and yeah, thank you very much. That was everything from me.
for the moment. And now I'm happy to answer your questions. Great, thank you very much. Um, we don't have a question um, at this point, so I would like to um, encourage um, um, those who are listening to, to type in your questions um, while we're here, and we have the opportunity to ask uh, the questions directly to Mariana. Um, but while we're waiting for uh, questions for the audience, um, maybe for me, uh, would you, uh, again, um, maybe talk a little bit more about the alumni? Do you have an alumni network? also that students can um, draw on and uh, do you maybe have an example of students and what they've done afterwards uh, with the degree uh, from the uh, Berlin School of Economics and Law? Um, yeah, of course. So we have a big alumni network and um, Marina Junkes is um, the person in charge for that. So we try to um, get our alumni together three uh, three times a year, having um, a short event at our university and um, having them as graduate talkers for students. So um, and I think last weeks we had people uh, who built up their own startup. Um, they created an app. Uh, these were students from 2014. Um, three of them uh, worked together and now they, they, they're staying in Berlin and building up their own business. Then we have people working for um, Price Borderhouse Coopers. Um, I think a lot of people are interested in the finance sector so they, they keep to go to um, consulting and finance firms. Um, some might leave, or well, some leave um, Berlin and going to London. So from time to time, when we visit our our partner university in London, we we meet some students who made their way to London um, to work for the finance sector for Essential, for example, which is a big company. And yeah, so. Um, I don't know so much in detail because it's not my field, but still you can check on our website mm -hmm. because there you see some um, information from for each program you see alumni with a so, uh, short statement and you can contact them of course so you will find them on LinkedIn and you will find them on Facebook and yeah just get in touch and ask them how how they they find their way after after graduating from our school. Mm -hmm. Great, thank you. I have one question, um, and um, maybe you can um, elaborate a little bit more on that or clarify what that actually means. Um, someone uh, wants to know what that certificate of eligibility is, and and where, like, what universe, what or. Well, the question is, what organization is eligible to provide um, certificate of eligibility for university education? So maybe it wasn't a hundred percent clear uh, yeah. what that actually is. Would you would you please elaborate on that again, please? Yeah, yeah, I know that's always a bit difficult because I know some some countries don't even have that. So um, it's when you get your A levels or when you graduate from high school, then you get the the, the certificate to to have the chance to go to a university to make a bachelor or something. So it's like your last degree you get from school. And um, but if you don't have that, because it often is the case that people don't have that, um, then it's enough that you uh, upload your certificate from like your undergraduate degree from the bachelor. Because we all only need to know that you have something that you have studied something before and so the the other certificate is not that important but if you have a degree from school like last degree before you started your bachelor then please upload this one Mm -hmm. And maybe also um, from from my side, as as an addition to that, because we with the AD work uh, with a lot of students who are interested in studying in Germany. So basically, that um, certificate is is essentially your high school diploma. Your the 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 so your high school diploma. Um, if, enables you to study in, in the United States. So um, if you have your high school diploma or, um, as Mariana said, um, if you have already a degree from a university, uh, those two things uh, would, would help. So really when we talk about certificate for eligibility to study, um, we're talking about your high school diploma here. Um, yeah, yeah, that's correct. And so, um, 
again, the question is also um, someone who's not a native speaker of English, but who has a degree from a North American university uh, where the language is English, would a TOEFL test still be required? Or um, do you accept basically the um, degree um, certificate as um, proof of language skills? Yeah, the certificate would be enough in that case. So um, if you have studied in English for two or three years, depending on the course then it's enough because um, at the end uh, next to the certificate you have to hand in or like the English uh, program certificate um, you will have an interview with the academic director and they will um, prove your English skills as well so um, that would be enough you don't need to have an or make an extra test for, for money. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. Thank you. Are there any other questions um, at the moment? Again, you will have um, really varied um, email addresses in the presentation from the Berlin School of Economics and Law, so um, you can go through that later on as well and get in touch with uh, uh, representatives and, and also for me if you have questions about the DAD scholarships and grants um, and, and also generally about studying in Germany um, information, you can of course get in touch with me. It's as well. Um, if there are no questions now, is there anything, Mariana, that you would like to add that you maybe didn't mention in your presentation so far? Um, let me think. Um, I think everything was, for me, everything was included so far. There might be some, some points about scholarships, if people are interested in scholarships, but I think you said about uh, something about the DAD thing, and we don't have any special scholarships for our master courses, um, except from the MBA Women's Scholarships we offer every year um, for three women who are applying for the program, but um, yeah, the deadline and information you will find on the website, but for all other master courses we don't have any special scholarships, so if uh, people think of that. Mm -hmm. I have to say, unfortunately, we don't offer that. <laughs> okay, great, thank you. Um, so yeah, then um, if we don't have any more questions, um, I'd like to thank you, Mariana, for joining us today for uh, talking about the uh, many um, opportunities that are offered at the Berlin School of Economics and Law. Um, just as a reminder, I will send the follow-up email um, later on today with uh, information on where you can um, view the recording again and also download the presentation that will be on our DAD website, but uh, I will um, actually send you the link um, in the follow-up email and um, so you will be able to uh, watch it later again and download the presentation. And so with that, um, please stay tuned for um, other uh, webinars uh, that we have uh, this fall and also um, next year we we'll, we'll also in the spring and in the fall have a webinar series on, on various topics. So um, stay tuned for, for other webinars in the future. And for now, I wish uh, you, Mariana, a wonderful evening in Germany. It's already um, pretty late. Uh, so thank you for joining us this late um, today. And for the other attendees, thank you very much for joining us. And I hope um, I uh, see you again at another webinar. Thank you and goodbye. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.